Welcome to John Fernie College. This is our reception area. These are the lockers, which I'm sure a lot of students are going to want to know what colours they're having. We're going to be wandering around, meeting different people on our travels. Hopefully we've got a good range and feel of people who I'd like you to meet. Okay, so here we are outside the culture zone where we teach geography, history and modern foreign languages lessons. I'm going to hand you over to Mrs Grimes who's going to speak to you in a bit more depth about what happens in detail. Bonjour, guten tag, my name is Mrs Grimes and I'm the subject leader for languages at John Fernley College. There are so many reasons why I love languages but the main thing is it enables you to connect with people. I've had so many doors open to me, so many opportunities. I've been able to work and travel around the world and I've made friendships and had experiences that will stay my memory forever. Um, and this is something that I want to give to my students as well. Today we're going to learn not one but two languages um, and I've put together some useful phrases that you can use if you ever go abroad. Don't just assume everyone's going to speak English and people are going to love you for trying their language. It doesn't matter how you sound, just give it a go. Okay, so first one is we're going to do some French here. So we have a very common greeting. It means good day or hello. Bonjour. You can, you can try for me. Bonjour. That means hello. And to introduce yourself, you can say je m'appelle and then your name. That means my name is. So je m'appelle. My name is. Next, we're going to go into German. So it's the same thing, but obviously with a different language. Okay, so to say hello, they say Guten Tag. Can you try for me? Guten Tag. And then we've got my name is, or I am called. Now this looks like a funny B symbol, and it's actually not. It's two S's. It's called an S set. And it sounds like ich heiße. Can you try that? Ich heiße. So these two letters here are pronounced a bit like the CH in the Scottish word for a lake, loch. So ich heiße. So guten Tag, ich heiße. Hello, my name is. Welcome to the communication zone. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Stewart, who's one of the best English teachers I've ever worked with. And um, I can't wait for her to share some of the thoughts and work she's doing inside that zone. A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the currents end and dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill for the cage bird sings of freedom. English is a subject that I have always loved. Ever since I was a child, I remember my mother reading lots and lots of different stories to me as a child from fairy tales to science fiction to some of the classics and I think I just grew up always always having books my mum would go out and buy lots and lots of books for me there were times when I thought no I don't want to read them it's nice to just look at them and then sometimes um, when I was like in my room for long periods of time I think right I'll have a go and that was it it opened up my world reading different texts the classics um, Wuthering Heights was something I read at a very early age. Didn't fully understand it at the time, but you know the themes in there were were current then and are still current now. Um, I love English because it's special and it gives students a voice. And I try my best to introduce a lot of the literature. As I said, Emily Bronte, Wuthering Heights, Shakespeare. Um, looking at post-16 text, we're looking at Mallory Blackman. Uh, um, William Golding, Lord of the Flies, Animal Farm, George Orwell, and lots of different texts. And I think it's just 
for me as a teacher then to make sure that those texts are available to the students. Well, I've worked at quite a lot of um, secondary schools and I can definitely say that John Fernley is a special school in terms of their focus on community. Community within the school and outside of the school. And what I mean by that is, especially now with the, the lockdown and looking at the COVID and the coronavirus and, and how that's changed the face of teaching, John Fernley College has done an awful lot in terms of making sure that our students are not missing out, there are no gaps, and they are still getting a full complement of the curriculum. So this is our Discovery Zone. This is where all of our lessons in science and our experiments take place. I'd really like you to meet Mr. Amley, who's been with us for a very long time, teaching some of the most inspirational science lessons that I've come across. What makes John Fernie special is that we're all individuals with our individual personalities and our unique traits. And the culture here at John Fernley is very inclusive. And that means that any student from any background can thrive. Science to me is life and science answers those existential questions like the meaning of life, but also trying to understand the universe and the extremities of it fascinates me. And this is our enterprise zone. Here we do design technology, we do computing science, we do business studies. It's a really vibrant, exciting place to be. I'm going to hand you over to Mr Longley, who teaches computing science. I really enjoy computer science because everything can be solved through code. So you can see a problem around the world and you can code a solution towards that problem. And just to see the outcome on the screen is absolutely fantastic. I enjoy the fact that technology is ever advancing and computer science is a real current subject. So um, knowing about the latest technologies, um, the parts inside the computer and how they work together and how we can communicate across the world and how there's technology all, of around, all around us. And we've got this fantastic course here that uh, investigates all of that for uh, cybersecurity, networking, systems architecture, binary. Um, we learn all of these um, amazing things to do with computers and uh, I'm just a really passionate computer scientist. Three words to describe John Fernley College would be caring because we have an absolutely outstanding pastoral team and we put students well-being at the forefront of everything here. Also exploring because we have a well-designed subject knowledge curriculum and supportive as well because every member of staff at Fernley is really friendly and anything a student needs, we're always here and happy to help. Now you'll really like it in here. This is the performance zone. This is the home of the shows. This is where we run music lessons, dance lessons, drama lessons, PE lessons and art lessons. It's always a buzz of activity. Mrs Mitchum, who you'll meet very shortly, has led some of the best shows with Mrs. Richards that I've come across. Enjoy. There's loads of things I love about music. Um, I love teaching in the classroom. I love inspiring children um, to get involved in the things that I share a passion with. I also love doing the shows um, and putting big stuff on the stage and getting loads of children involved in stuff that they wouldn't ordinarily get involved in. I think the relationship that staff have with pupils is definitely a strength of Fernley. Staff go over and above and out of their way to help any member, any, any child, any member of the school community. I think Fernley has a great reputation for extracurricular activities, both sporting and on stage. Um, and it's just a very, very special place to be. The way the community works together and um, pulls together is just second to none. Okay, so this one's a bit different because I need to welcome you to the enrichment building. But in this building lives the maths team. I would really like you to meet Mrs. Franklin, who's just a brilliant maths teacher, and I think you're gonna love her. 
I love the fact that it's a subject that transfers into everyday life so well. So the skills that we develop in the maths classroom that we don't even think about, such as problem solving skills or logical skills, um, we use them all the time without even realising. So for example, if you were looking at a riddle or working out a crossword, you're using those skills that we develop here in the classroom at John Fernley in maths. I think that John Fernley is different to other secondary schools because it has it all. Um, I've taught at many different schools and there are some great things and, and not so great things at the schools, but here I think that John Fernley has everything that you could ever want. So it has a hugely dedicated and hardworking staff. Um, teachers will go the absolute extra mile for their students and really care about those students um, as people, not just as numbers or wanting them to do well in their exams, they, they care about the whole individual. Um, and, the, and the students here are absolutely amazing. They are the most wonderful students I've ever met. So when you put those two things together, you just have the most high achieving, wonderful, friendly school where our students can leave as happy and well-rounded individuals going on to the next stage of their lives. So I'm going to share with you some really, really interesting maths facts now that I absolutely love and that you can go home and share with your parents or your grandparents or tell your friends from other schools and I know that they will love them. Did you know that if you are in a room of 23 people, there is a 50% chance that two people will share the same birthday? But if you are in a room of 75 people, that chance goes up to 99.9%. Here's an interesting fact for you to tell your history teacher. Markings on animal bones indicate that humans have been doing math since 30,000 BC. But did you know that mathematical symbols, for example, the add sign, the subtract sign, the multiplication sign, weren't developed until the 16th century. So everything up until that point was written in words. Did you know that 40 is the only number where the letters in the word are written in alphabetical order? Four is the only number that has the same number of letters as in the number itself. People often think this is a joke, but I've had this on good authority that it is true. In France, pie charts are often referred to as camembert charts. Have you ever heard anyone say, I'll be back in a jiffy? Well, a jiffy is an actual unit of time and represents one hundredth of a second. Our teaching team, I think, is one of the best that I've seen and certainly one of the most, one of the best that I've ever worked with. I feel privileged and humbled by the team of teachers who are meticulous in their planning, enormously excited about their subject, but most importantly, put students first and are determined to bring students with them on the journey of learning that they've undertaken themselves. So, I hope that's given you a real good taste of how we look and how things go and what, you know, who people are and so on. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with us today.